Hey, what's up guys? Phoenix here, and this video is giving another card review slash discussion type of video, and this time we're going to be talking about a piece of the new Dragoonity support that is coming out in Cybernetic Horizon. This time, we're going to be discussing one of the better cards in the set, since we uh, since we already talked about Ascalon and we talked about Goose. I really don't want to entertain time talking about the two other horrible cards, but I probably will sometime in the future. But anyway, the card we're going to be talking about today is Dragoonity Sinitus, and this card is very interesting, and it actually... It polarizes me on a, on a mental level because on one hand it's really good but on the other hand it's also really really bad it's very very poorly designed for the time frame but anyway Dragoonity Sinetis is a level 4 wing beast effect monster it is a wind attribute it has 1800 attack and 1600 defense and its effects are you can discard one Dragoonity card equip one Dragoonity tuner from your deck to this card also, you cannot special summon monsters from the extra deck for the rest of this turn, except dragon monsters. You can only use this effect of Dragoonity Sinitus once per turn. If a Dragoonity card or cards you control would be destroyed by battle or card effect, you can destroy one Dragoonity card equipped to this card instead. So, the secondary effect is practically non-existent. It might as well not even be on the card, because you're not really going to be doing anything with it. It's cool that this card doesn't have that effect when it's on summon of this card, Dragoonity card, to equip a tuner from your deck. So this effect can be done at any time. It doesn't have to be an on summon thing, which means that there could be potential implications with summoning it back from your grave off Monster Reborn, Soul Charge, you could play Call of the Haunted, you could play World Legacy Inheritor, all of those different options. But the problem is, is that this card is amazing. But we currently are past the point where we would ever play this card in Dragoonities, which is such an unfortunate thing to even consider or think about or realize. Now, as of right now, the card is not optimal to play at all in any way, shape, or form. Now, whether this changes in the future is something I'd be curious to see, because we could get more dragon-based link monsters in the future that sort of address the problem that this card currently has, but as it stands right now, it pisses me off to a pretty heavy degree that we got this card now, in 2018, when this card would have been very archetype and format defining for the Dragoonity deck in the entirety of its existence from when it was initially released in 2010 in Hidden Arsenal 3 all the way up until Master Rule 4. This is a card that had it been released at any time prior, if it had been released in 2005 with Dragoonity Divine Lance, right? We would have definitely been playing this card, and we would have been playing this card at 3 in every Dragoonity list ever conceived, with the exception only being maybe Dragoonity Rulers, but then again, the deck could have probably been changed around to incorporate this card a bit better. And we would have played this card, no matter when it came out, we would have played this card all the way through 2010, 2011, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and half of 2017. Because the deck, as a Dragoonity deck, has always been evolving with its combos, and has always been very heavily dragon-based and focused, until Master Rule 4 and Link Summoning was dropped into our laps. And then the deck became Cyframe Lord Omega Turbo, and we don't really have that many good dragon link monsters to summon right now. There's realistically only two dragon link monsters that you can make in Dragoonities that are decent, that advance your game state right now, and those are Hieratic Seal of the Celestial Spheres and Saryuja Skulldred. All the other ones, like Twin Triangle Dragon or whatever its name is, Three Burst Blast Dragon or whatever, I can only remember these cards by their anime names. <laughs> I know those exist in the TCG, but they're so, like, not actually conducive to actual good play. Well, the, the Link 2 Dragon kind of is, because you could, in theory, make it off of, like, a Barka play with two tuners, and then you could revive something like a, a Yarded Barka or a Yarded Gaydurg or whatever, and use it as more Link materials. But still, that is three Dragon Link monsters that are really kind of resource-intensive to play, uh, in this current, you know, state of how the deck functions and all that sort of stuff. So, the fact that this card has that that restriction on it of you can only summon dragon monsters from your extra deck 
would have not mattered at all at any point when this card was released until now. It is 2018, and as of right now, this card is too far gone to play, which sucks to say about something that's as good as this card is. This card means that you could just open this card and not have to worry about using Dragon Ravine at all. This card is Dragon Ravine and Ducks built into itself. You normal summon it, discard any Dragoonity card. It could be like a dead tuner like Ackley's if we were playing in the past. It could do whatever. And then you can equip Phalanx or now Phalanx or Koos from your deck and start doing plays. There are so many implications this card could have had for the entire history of the Dragoonity theme. It It's so tragic to me that this card is as good as it is but cannot be played currently. The card is very behind its time, and depending on how the link mechanic further structures itself, could be ahead of its time. But as of right now, like, we can't really, you know, foreshadow that in any way, shape, or form, because we don't know what kind of Dragon Link monsters Konami will give any sort of, uh, like, just generic support waves for, because they're historically very, very scared about making good Dragon-themed support, because of the whole Elemental Dragon, Dragon Ruler debacle uh, that made them invent an entirely new archetype and put it into the games just so they could print dragon cards as a different archetype in the form of worms. Uh, like, <laughs> dragons have always been one of those things that Konami has danced around very, very carefully ever since, like, 2012, 2013. But, like, the thing is, this card has two sort of restrictions on it. One is very minor, and one is very major. The not being able to special summon from the extra deck for the rest of this turn, except Dragon Monsters, is obviously a very major problem. It can be worked around if you're capable of making plays that are capable of doing all your things, like, you know, Needle Fiber, Summon Sorceress, and all that shit, before you drop Sinidus. So, like, if you have a play that allows you to do a Ducks play into your combo and then summon Sinidus, that's fine, but that means that Sinidus is probably going to be, like, a tech one of in your deck, at most, probably, and it's going to be very hard for you to justify the card, because it went from being a fantastic starter to just being something that sort of extends your playline, because with that restriction on it thus far, in Master Rule 4, the only thing you can do if you start your play with this card is, like, do the same thing that we did in 2011, which is Normal Summon Stardust Dragon Pass, or more modernly, Normal Summon Crystal Wing Synchro Dragon and Pass. And sorry, but that's not good enough to keep up with anything that came out after 2015. Sorry, it's just not something that we can do. Sure, you could try to cheese people out of the game with like Stardust Spark Dragon plus a Dragon's Bind lock, but that's really not going to be something that's reliable or something you can really work with. So that's the major restriction. The minor restriction is the fact that it requires you to discard a Dragoonity card. I feel like this card would have been fine to be able to discard any card, and I really wish it had been, because, again, that would have just been, you know, conducive to allowing the deck to play a little bit more freely than it has been in a long time, because you could do things like discard Destrudo for Sinidus, and then equip Phalanx from deck, and then you have, like, a Celestial Spheres combo right there, because Sinidus plus Phalanx going to Gaydurg, you get to use Destrudo, copy Gaydurg, you get to do the Steam play with the Celestial Spheres, and everything is all good for you. It would allow you to get extra card advantage, and allow you to play the deck a little bit more in an open sense. It would allow the deck a lot more, you know, ability to branch out. So you could, It would incentivize you to play more cards, like Destrudo, or things that get their effects off discards, like the Fabled cards could have made a comeback, in terms of being a legitimate, like, strat for Dragoonity to play even though that hasn't been a legitimate thing to play since about 2011, ever since Atum came out. Basically, there's a lot of different ways this card could have been designed, but unfortunately, the minor restriction of having to discard specifically Dragoonity cards, while not bad, you could still discard, you know, Phalanxes or Kooses, which recur themselves naturally later in the turn off of your Synchro plays, or if you do a big Barka play, but... Like, the fact that you have to discard a Dragoonity card is very, like, counterproductive to trying to allow the deck to gain back some of what it had before Master Rule 3. Because remember, the Dragoonity archetype was designed, and Dragon Ravine as a field spell was designed well over eight years ago when we were still drawing six cards when we went first. 
That's why Dragon Ravine was so fine for resources, because you would have a five card hand plus Dragon Ravine, and so then you were able to do your Ducks Phalanx play, and you were still good for resources. But now, the situation is you have Dragon Ravine plus a four card hand, and that may not sound like a huge difference, but it actually just is, as far as consistency for seeing multiple combo pieces, for the ability to generate big boards and stuff like that. So having this card be able to discard just generic cards to actually, you know, meld themselves as combo pieces would have been a huge addition. So those are my negative things to say about this card is that the restriction on it is almost unnecessary for the dragon restriction. It really just, it seems like it's trying to take the deck back to the archaic way of playing, which is very outdated and is very just not good, and also physically cannot function in any higher capacity under Master Rule 4 until we get better Dragon Link monsters. So this card could eventually evolve its way into being ahead of its time if we get better Dragon Link monsters in the future. This card could eventually just become better and better as more Dragon Link monsters that are generic and good for extending combo structure are printed, because then it could just be an instant 3 of starter card, like it would have been any time before Link Format and Link Era dropped itself on us. This card would have been played at 3 in every single Dragoonity deck and list made for the entirety of the deck's history, because it's just added consistency. You don't have to see Dragon Ravine to make your plays have starting points anymore. You could start with Senatus, plus a Dragoonity card to discard, plus like a Mistleton, and make like an Atom combo and do the entire thing. Like all of those combos before Master Rule 4 very heavily were dragon focused on the extra deck. The problem is we can't do that anymore because we need link summons and good link monsters to help facilitate combo structure and get those resources that we invest back. But those currently right now are not dragons. They're machines, they're cyberses, they're anything but dragons. And that's the big problem with trying to play this card. I hope that this card becomes good in the future because I would love to be able to play Dragoonities again in a way that's actually better than the deck has ever been before with having additional starters in the form of having six ravine and having three senatus to essentially be nine copies of a pure starter card that gets your engine going i would love that especially with Koos being an amazing new tuner like the deck has the potential to be better than it's ever been in the history of its performance but we are currently hindered under master rule four and this card's restriction for dragon monsters from the extra deck really didn't need to be on the card like, you could have removed either of these, and it would have been fine. And you notice I'm not even talking about it's, a second, it's second effect at all, because the second effect literally does not matter. That effect will almost never come up or never be used, because you're always going to be getting rid of the resources on your field, because that's what Dragoonities do. But anyway, I think this card's fantastic in terms of what it does. I just think it's way too late. It annoys me that it's so late. We've gotten cards in the past for Dragoonity, like Divine Lance. Why couldn't this card have come out then? Why couldn't this card have come out in the original structure deck? Like, there's so many things. This card isn't like a 2018 designed card. This card is very much a 2011 style designed card. It's not even like modernized card design. It's very much old card design. It reeks of it. But it's still very good because of the deck that it operates in just happens to need something like this. But... I digress. Before I start talking about this for way too long, let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. As always, guys, as always, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe to all the nonsense you usually do. Check out the links in the description to my Twitch. Follow that if you want to you know, catch some regular live streams. Uh, and I've got a Patreon link down there if you want to help support the channel, help me make multiple videos a day, potentially. All that sort of stuff helps out a ton, and you'd have my eternal gratitude. But other than that, as I've already said, thanks for watching. Thanks for your time as usual, guys, and take care. I'll see you in the next video.